Okay, let's bring in Adam Claybon with some exciting news about tomorrow's forecast. <laughs> yeah, let's talk about that. That's going to start off meteorological summer for us, and it's going to feel like a summer day with temperatures starting to rebound back into the mid 70s for some locations. After today, we just barely got into the 70s, and yes, we ended off the month of May, of May on a warm note, but uh, let's take a look back at meteorological spring, which was definitely cooler than normal. Overall, the normal temperature for that three month stretch, 51.3 degrees. We were down by 2.4 degrees off of that with an average Average temperature of 48.9. Uh, you can see it may average temperature was well off where it should normally be. It should be right around 57 and a half degrees. We were at 52.6 degrees and well as far as May rain, we caught quite a bit of it. 3.82 inches, which uh, accounts for the second most rainfall we have seen ever on record for the month of May. And you can see where the average temperatures were for March and for April. Not quite so much of a difference in March, but definitely saw those temperatures much lower in April as some spots even across the southern part of the state got in on a little snow. Now as we take a live look or take a, a look at our temperatures for today, we saw highs in the upper 60s to low 70s, 69 in Bremerton, 69 in Tacoma, mid 70s in Shelton and just barely getting there to 70 in Seattle. School net side right now is showing the sunset that is happening as we look live at shoreline and then yeah, we can see that things beginning to darken up here. Skyline could be beautiful here into the night 59 degrees, just a little chilly if you're heading out so make sure to grab something to cover the arms. 61 in Renton right now at 51 in Oak Harbor. Low 50s in Forks. Hoquiam right now sitting at 59 degrees. So where's their rain? Uh, well, there was some here across the mountains that's dying on off and that will be the general theme again. Showers and storms developing into tomorrow afternoon, maybe even seeing a small, slightly better chance here out closer to the coast with a system that's going to spin a front closer to us and that's going to help to pop off a few of those showers as we go into tomorrow afternoon. Tomorrow morning, it's really going to be more of the clouds that will start off the day, and this is what's probably going to keep temperatures from really working their way well into the 70s for some spots. I think those areas that do keep the thicker clouds will keep temperatures around the low 70s, maybe the upper 60s, out closer to the coast. Better chances of that happening, especially with the small rain chances there. And then up across the mountains, we're keeping an eye out for a shower or a storm. But then we'll go into tomorrow night. Skies partially clearing here and there. Some clouds uh, will actually feature some rain chances early into Thursday. That gets out of here, and then we really start to see clouds break apart, leading to that nice warm up that we're going to see, which I think is going to be the warmest day here of the week. Lows tonight, low to mid 50s. Highs the next couple of days, low to mid 70s in most spots. Uh, we'll see the better chances of rain as we head into the weekend, and it's by that time, too, that we expect to cool back down in the 60s.